Let's check out what's up down under with the Australian Open. Hey, here with newcomer for CG Technology, Keith Frederick. He wears a lot of hats there. He's agreed to come out and talk some tennis today because he knows his tennis. We're at the Cosmopolitan Sportsbook. Keith here and at other CG Tech Sportsbooks around town. Let's hit on the men's draw first. Who is the odds-on favorite and maybe one of the top challengers or two? The top two folks in the line are Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer. They happen to have won the last four of these tournaments. Roger's won the last two, Novak won the two prior to that. And they are on opposite halves of the draw, so they have a real good chance to meet in the final. If they do happen to meet in the final, Roger Federer gets an extra day of rest, and I'm sure Fed fans will enjoy that quite a bit. Federer's 5-2, to two, Djokovic is minus 105. Okay, so Djokovic's your favorite there. Yeah. All right, anybody a little further down the odds board that might be worth a look here? If you're taking a look deeper down the odds board, you want to find a big server. There's been a rule change at the Australian Open that favors big servers. So somebody like Nick Kyrgios at 18-1, to one, John Isner at 80-1, to one, maybe a Kevin Anderson at 30-1. to one. All right, let's jump over to the women's draw. This is kind of an interesting dynamic. Who's our odds-on favorite and what does it look like there? Don't have the slightest idea. <laughs> um, the last eight Grand Slam tournaments have been won by eight different women, and there's a reasonable chance that we'll get a ninth, and a ninth this time around. Uh, Serena is the favorite, but as the favorite, she's at only plus 350, which is, as a favorite, that's a pretty big number for the beginning. Sure. Uh, the next one up is Naomi Osaka, who is six to one. Those two met in the finals of the US Open last fall, and they're looking the public feels they're going to meet in the finals again this time around. All right, and let's move down the odds board again a bit here. Who's a dark horse on the women's side you like? One that I like that's got an excellent draw that is in great form is a German named Julia Gorgas, and she is 28 to 1, 35 to 1, places like that, and she just won a tournament down in Auckland, and she's in great form right now. All right, so won one of the warm-up events. Yes. All right, so there you have it. A quick look at the Australian Open, some of the odds-on favorites, and maybe a couple of dark horses to look at on each side of the draw as well. For more tennis odds, insights, and information, go to Covers.com and give us a follow on Twitter, at Covers.